go. What's up, cousins? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Virgo for the end of August 2019? <laughs> I know I'm damn dark. You ain't got to tell me. My lighting up in here sucks. I did the best I could. My ass can't sleep. I got to be up in less than two hours to go take my baby to school, y'all. And sleep was like weird, bitch. All right? So I don't know if you guys are going through the same thing, but we're going to get it popping. I'm going to go ahead and try and push as many videos as I can. I and so my body just says, fuck that, all right? So I love you guys. <laughs> I hope that you guys are having an amazing month of August. I definitely enjoyed, actually, even with the pre-shuffling of your energy, you guys. So let's get it popping, all right? To the new subscribers, hey, boo, welcome to the family, all right? We're a little, we're a little dysfunctional over here, all right? We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We share. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. Positive vibes only over here. We family, all right? To the returning subscribers, hey, boo, hey, hey my family hey cousins y'all had me a little worried i thought i was going to put y'all on the tourist list but y'all got y'all shit together so here we are you understand because i'm sorry if you cross watching for a tourist you got to follow me on instagram if you're not already it's at mocha underscore love underscore tarot you guys thank you for the likes the shares the subscribes the comments the readings the just the, the overall support thank you so very much from the humblest face ever okay i have to share my usually it's funny because you guys are so used to me just you know not but me being set up at the table y'all i do this okay literally like this is my whole zen i'm sharing y'all my family so i'm sharing a piece of my zen with you, all right so let's get it um this is for the summer rising venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of virgo you guys take what resonates leave the rest if that motherfucking shoe is too big don't try and make that motherfucking bitch ass gonna fall okay um if you need a personal reading that information can be found within the description and let's get it popping all right also i would have came and did y'all videos early but i have to get my nail done late every time i get ready to do aries or aquarius my fucking nail breaks so i said you know what i got my nail fixed i ain't in the, in a long story behind that but i was like listen i ain't gonna have it fuck up no more so i'm gonna do virgo how about that all right so you guys this is for uh, again summer rising venus as well as the cross watches for the sign of virgo um Let's see it, y'all. We're going to start with your intuitive messages. And yes, I'm setting the damn timer because, y'all, I'm running out of space on this thing, and I'm still trying to get all these damn generals up. So, you know what? I, I got to make it. I, look, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to make it do what it do, baby. <laughs> I don't even know if I gave you my verbatim. Hey, boo, it's your first time to my channel. I'm okay, and I cuss. Cussing don't work for you right the hell now. This is not your reading. Please feel free to go find another beautiful reading here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? So let's get into it. Virgo, your intuitive messages for the end of August is loyalty, weighing your options, unexpected abundance, family reunions, releasing pride, attraction, apology, past life love, harvest, blessings. Heightened awareness, prosperity, life path, fear of unknown, and releasing toxic ties. Yes. Oh, and I, and I don't know if y'all heard me say um, attraction and apology. Yes. Let's get it. All right, so any of those intuitive messages do resonate with you? This is definitely a message, cousin. Let's talk about it, all right? Overall energy around the reading, you guys got honest communication. That is divinely guided. You guys got the Ace of Diamonds, okay? So you guys could also be um, actually communicating during this time. Some of you guys may be having truth reveals, okay? But I feel like this truth that's revealed, it's kind of like I'm feeling the energy of endings and then sudden beginnings, okay? So for some of you all, blessings on blessings on blessings, all right? I did pull a few cards here. I'm going to check into the subconscious space, but we're going to start off with your angel messages for the month, all right? Well, for the last half. You guys got Archangel Michael. Yes. Crystal clear intentions. And y'all, ain't it's no, you don't hear no spirits. I got music playing in the background. That's that's part of my little vibe. I cut it all the way down because I ain't got time to be tagging and getting flagged and shit. So you're not tripping. All right. Um, it says be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. Okay. So for some of you all, there's a need for you. I definitely feel like patience is going to be your, your biggest test during this last end um, of August going into September. Some of you guys, 
things that you were waiting to get clarity on, Spirit is saying, some of y'all need to stop listening to so many damn tarot readings. You already know what the hell you need to do. Make the damn decision to stand up and speak your damn truth because for some of y'all, we, we, we're crossing, we're, like, we're in this midst of a split between timelines. So a lot of us, we are literally walking in the, how can I put it? We're literally walking in a whole nother dimension, one that we've already lived. So you're already knowing what it is that you need to do. For some of you all, there's a choice around self-love. Again, there will be a test of the patience. You guys are needing to speak up for yourselves. I'm hearing your heritage, your life path is on the line. Some of you guys are staying in situations that you know that you're settling. However, you were. some of y'all are going to be the catalyst to someone else's awakening by you standing in your truth. So some of you all, there is a situation that is meant to be for you, but there's a need for you all to let this situation go through its caterpillar in the damn cocoon process. Because I feel like for some of you all, you know if you cut that damn cocoon, you're going to kill the butterfly. For some of you all, there's a sense of you knowing what you know. You know that your motherfucker is your motherfucker. However, there's a sense of there being a, a, a common love or, a com or like a mutual feeling that is beautiful, but one's not ready in the headspace. Or ready to receive what it is that receive your substance or go your beauty. Okay. And you guys are coming to terms with that. You're getting real with yourself during this time. There's a need for you guys to definitely be active when it comes to the throat chakra. Speak your truth. Speak up for yourself. Stand in your power. If if, if there were situations where there was uh, someone who could have cut you out, Virgo, or uh, there could have also been a situation where something was Something there was a, there was a need. I'm, I'm feeling. I'm hearing missing piece. Okay, so whatever wherever there was a missing piece, you're going to be getting some type of clarity regarding it. Okay, some of you guys could definitely be dealing with water signs here, um, as well as air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Next message you guys got is victory. Archangel Sandifine. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith, okay? So again, there's this aspect of harvest, abundance. You guys actually getting what it is that you want, possibly after getting real with your damn self and actually taking that leap of faith, facing your fears, which for some of y'all is a fear of being alone, okay? Again, in the subconscious, you guys. Oh, and also, there's an aspect of, and I'm, I'm, y'all know I'm moving fast, but messages, you guys, I've been getting crazy downloads, and they come fast. I'm for that audience. Sometimes they come broken, so I got to take it as I leave. You got to catch up, hot sauce, okay? Some of y'all, there's definitely sometimes, some, okay, so yeah, some of y'all are definitely up with me. There's this energy around insomnia. Some of y'all are definitely going to be up, and this, this video is going to be blowing up like it's damn 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I see. Some of you guys have a major download coming uh, toward from now into, I'm here in middle September. Some of you all are also having some type of crown chakra activation. Some of you guys are also coming into your ability of premonitory gifts. Others of you are dreamers. Others of you also have the gift of clairvoyance, okay? Others of you, there's a fear around actually, I'm hearing coming out, coming out public with your gifts. There's a fear of, of how you're going to be perceived uh, from other people. You need to not know. You, you need to know at this point, you don't need nobody's damn validation, baby. I, like I tell, I don't know who was signing up. I think I told Sagittarius. How the fuck is that working? Everybody who's talking shit about how you doing shit, let's just get real. Step outside of your relationship with these people. How the hell is they way working for them? I wait. All right. We're going to roll. All right. So with that said... You guys got rightness, okay? So I definitely feel like whatever it was that you've been laying your seeds, wherever it was that you've been planting your seeds, there is this harvesting that is occurring this time. And it's coming after a period or possibly during a period of completion. For some of you all, you may have been waiting for some type of abundance or waiting for some type of finances to come in. Maybe you've been kind of, again, having a test when it comes to the patience or your, your aspect of patience. Some of you all, I'm hearing, when am I going to get a break? When am I going to get a break? When am I going to get a break? Some of you all, you know that things are coming into harmony. For some of you all, there's a major heart chakra activation that is occurring uh, within you as well as I'm hearing within another person. For some of you all, this has to do with the divine, divine counterpart. For some of you all, this definitely has to do with the relationship. Going. For some of you all, I definitely feel like where someone wasn't opening up and wasn't, or had this, had this fear around giving you their heart. This person is now wanting to open up and express their feelings. They're wanting to stand naked before you. Ready to be vulnerable, Virgo. Yeah. Come on now. Nakedness. Good shit. All right. I didn't like that shuffle. Everyone make sure you have in love. 
some of our songs. Some more other things that are some house watches. The end of August. Let me see here. Whoa. And, uh, damn, they want to hang. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of Pisces. All right. So, yeah. Others of you, this could also have to do with a new love or a love that you feel is not going anywhere. It's stagnancy. This could have to do with that completion. Some of you guys feel as if you got yourself stuck or trapped in a karmic situation. But I do feel it is going to be coming to an end during this time. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with... um. And some of you all, I'm hearing movement. Some of you guys could have victorious movement, things finally victoriously moving forward, possibly in a um, in a partnership with an Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Pisces. Some of you guys are freeing yourself from a toxic situation and will be victorious and moving forward. Some of you guys are just not here for people who don't want to open their damn mouth and be communicative. It's just like, listen... I'm not a damn mind reader. For some of y'all, you are a fucking mind reader, okay? Some of y'all need to stay out my damn window, all right? Because, listen, I don't know y'all personally, but it be a bunch of... Listen, I, I, I love y'all too, but let me catch some more of y'all in my damn room when astro traveling, okay? I, I figured I would come talk to Virgo about that because it's personal. Disrespectful, damn it. Don't worry about it. I'm working on that. Listen, Yeah. Some of you all, where someone was indecisive, some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius during this time. I feel like for some of you all, you see a, a situation going victorious, uh, you being victorious in a situation with releasing this person, okay? Others of you, this could also have to do with someone who could have actually moved away from you in the past. This person is giving you clarity that they could have tried to go and work out some type of family situation, okay? And I definitely feel like someone was abandoned in this situation. They could have been dealing with a Leo. You could have been dealing with a Leo. Some of you guys are moving away from a Leo during this time due to the fact that they got a damn drinking problem. I feel like this person also doesn't want to take accountability and doesn't want to address it, okay? Well, there was one secret uh, pertaining to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who could also be a past life love or someone who you've dealt with in the past. I definitely feel like in the past, someone wasn't really ready to kind of be, to kind of stand upright and actually move towards this relationship, okay? Which made you feel abandoned or made you feel overlooked because you feel as if you was giving this person um, the best of you, Virgo. I definitely feel like now this person is ready to take a leap of faith and offer something solid to you. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries. Others of you could also be dealing with another earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. Some of you guys could also be moving away from an earth sign after some type of deception is revealed during this time. I'm hearing blessing in disguise. For some of you all, some of y'all, and I hate to go into it, but spirit is putting it on my heart. Y'all know it's late night and we're going to talk about it. Some of you guys are finding out that your partner is actually like, some of y'all could actually be in a long-term commitment with a person where you have, some of y'all, some of you guys are in long-term marriages. And some of you all could also be uh, in situations. Yeah, some of y'all feel as if you're beefing, beefing with Keisha. And actually, you're beefing with Keith and uh and Colin. <clears throat> some of you all have, yeah, somebody's expressing their truth. And for some of y'all, this truth is that someone actually likes the same sex. Someone could have been having a hard time of battling with it, well, what it is that they like sexually, a preference. Something also could be going on on social media as well during this time. Some of you all could have had somebody uh, walk away from you, or you could have walked away from somebody due to deception. This person not wanting to open up. For some of y'all, it's a Scorpio. For others of you, this could have to do with a Cancer or a Pisces. Some of y'all, it's an Earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. Some of you all are attached to an Earth sign who can have an ex that's an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who could have moved away from this person. I feel like for some of you all, just right when you was happy, this motherfucker comes back. Somebody has a mental, somebody is dealing with some type of mental imbalance individual. I definitely feel like, and, and yeah, and some of y'all, you don't want to keep taking this type of drama into your new cycle because you definitely got a new start, new cycle. Some of y'all are also starting businesses as well. Yeah, others of you could be walking away from an Aquarian. Some of you guys are also dealing with the victimized water sign. And I feel as if only thing you get out of this person is fighting. But you never get to it, the aspect of resolution. Some of you guys are leaving behind toxic ties, meaning someone not wanting to be communicative, someone um, having this fear of commitment, someone not wanting to open up, someone not wanting to go and do the inner work when it comes to healing their childhood wounds so that they can actually rebuild on a solid foundation. That's all damn changing, okay? Some of you guys um, are dealing with a situation. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of Scorpio. Others of you are also dealing, could be dealing with the sign of Sagittarius. For some of you all, I'm definitely feeling here. 
Yeah. Some of you guys are going to be finding out. Yeah, some of y'all could be finding out if you're dealing with an earth sign or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Fire sign, Scorpio. Some of you guys could be hurt because you find out that someone could have went and tried to work a situation at, a situation out possibly with um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a water sign behind your back. And for some of you all, this person could be experiencing a towel moment and wanting to return to you. And they're very genuine in their return to you because this person is looking at it. This person looking at it as if this is happening because of what they did to you. If you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, for some of you all, you're moving away from this person because you don't trust them. If you're dealing with water signs, where there was once confusion, conflict, another somebody feeling rejected, somebody not wanting to open up, somebody just really making the other one feel as if the effort in a relationship, like they didn't, they didn't, they didn't value the value the relationship enough to put the effort in. That's coming to a change, baby. You guys are gonna get out of this damn defensive energy with this fire sign. This person is not wanting to take a leap of faith with you after going through something. A lot of y'all have people that's experiencing tile moments while y'all experiencing blessings. For some of you all, there will be some type of movement forward in a twin flame soulmate situation, especially if this person is a Gemini, uh, a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it's going to possibly come at the expense of uh, leaving an air sign behind who could have been very controlling, who you could have recently just reconciled with. All right. So, you guys, this is what I have for you all for mid-month August. I pray that this resonates. You guys, please like, share, subscribe, comment. If you need a personal reading, again, that information can be found within the description. The only readings that I'm doing from here on out, same day, are going to be emergency readings. All other readings will be done, will be scheduled between 24 to 48 hours out. Y'all, y'all know I'm Aries, so I try and treat everybody with that same damn energy that I want to be treated with, because I be wanting to know damn now, all right? I love y'all cousins. Peace, love, light, namaste. And I will see you guys back in September. Love y'all.